Hello and welcome to the iNews Special Bulletin. I am Tejasvi Nalam. Here are the headlines first. Alcohol trickles into AP. Tiplers mob the stores as lockdown norms stand violated. Will the lockdown in Telangana be extended too? Official sources say it most likely will be. Aviation fuel prices crash amidst worldwide lockdowns. Retail set one-third the cost of vehicle fuel. Congress tackles the BJP. Promises to foot railway charges for all migrant laborers. India posts staggering recovery stats from Corona even as government promises smooth flow of goods across state boundaries. Let's look at the news in detail. Has the Telangana Chief Minister KCR decided to extend the lockdown for another two weeks in Telangana? Official sources say that everything has, that has happened so far seem to be pointing that way. In an extended meeting that touched upon several aspects of the lockdown, including the transportation of migrant labor, opening of liquor stores and public transport, the chief minister is said to have been in favor of extending the lockdown by another two weeks. The Chief Minister has also directed all ministers and state officials to ready an action plan on what needs to be done post the current deadline of 7th May. Official sources say that a decision on the relaxation of lockdown norms and the availability of liquor be taken into the cabinet meeting that is scheduled for tomorrow and that the decision will be announced to the public by the Chief Minister himself. The warnings that we see before the start of every movie seem to be utterly ineffective as the ruling party in Andhra Pradesh decided to allow the alcohol to flow in the state. The queues in front of several liquor stores in the state snaked as thirsty stipplers thronged to the outlets. After being closed for about two months during the lockdown, the government allowed standalone shops to sell liquor between 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. from today. As expected, the people mobbing the liquor stores couldn't care less about the social distancing norms set by the center. People had reportedly began queuing up at the stores the night before. The central government guidelines dictate no more than five persons to be allowed at liquor stores, but these norms were blithely violated. Many tipplers and even the staff at some liquor stores were seen without masks and even gloves. Liquor, it seems, conquers all. To combat the rise in the consumption of liquor, the government on Saturday hiked liquor prices by 25%. This decision is likely to shore up an additional 4,500 crore for the government treasury. The opposition was quick to react saying that the state government was more worried about liquor trade than the welfare of the people. The ruling party was also accused of working for the betterment of distillery owners rather than fighting the corona pandemic. Finally, 
From the relief to liquor to the construction, the sounds of drilling and breaking of boulders is now being heard from various corners of the country. Construction work resumed in various areas after the Ministry of Home Affairs allowed a range of economic activities to begin in an effort to ease the lives of people. However, the results seem to be less than jubilant. With government putting in efforts to help migrant workers reach their hometowns, the construction industry is struggling to find the labor required to restart the work that has halted amidst the lockdown guidelines. Construction work is mostly balanced on the efforts of migrant workers from small towns and villages. And with them having returned to their homes very recently, the work doesn't seem to be taking off. The police have so far seized lakhs of vehicles for various lockdown violations. However, citizens whose vehicles have been seized for violating the COVID-19 lockdown are at their wits end figuring out how to get their vehicles back. To complicate matters further, police officials are not issuing receipts or sending out SMSs to the owners of seized vehicles. To add to the mess, the penal amount has not yet been decided. The citizens are being told that their vehicles will be released when the lockdown ends, but there is no clear indication of where, when and how to collect these vehicles. While some are being instructed to collect their vehicles at their respective police stations, other directions state that the vehicles need to be collected at the local courts. The lack of uniformity is leaving both people distraught and confused. In more instances of violence, tension prevailed at Kovur in the morning today after police resorted to lati charge on migrant workers. The incident occurred when 300 migrant workers came there with the demand to send them back to their native places. Despite efforts of local revenue and police officials to convince them and cool the situation down, the workers resorted to pelting stones which led to police caning them to control the situation. The workers, who are primarily from Bihar and Jharkhand, refused to back down, resorting to a sit-in protest on the road. Now from news across the nation, India's coronavirus tally has crossed the 42,500 mark with 1,373 deaths and over 11,700 cured or discharged. Though cases are rising every day, the government claims it has been able to curb the spread of the virus. Statistics from Love Agarwal do give some hope. In the last 24 hours, 1,074 people have been cured. And this is the highest number in terms of cured patients noted till date. Today's data is that 11,706 people have cured. And if we see in the last 24 hours, 1,074 people have been cured. It is such a positive news that this is the highest number in terms of cured patient noted till date. Or if we see that our recovery rate, ab dekhe to hai badkar 27.52 percent ho chuka hai. Pichle 24 ghante mein Bharat mein agar COVID-19 ke confirm cases ki sankhya dekhe, to 2,553 cases bade hain, jiske karan ki kul confirm sankhya ab 42,533 ho chuki hai. Total active cases under medical supervision की संख्या 29,453 है। अगर हम सभी अपने close cases को data के basis पर analysis करें और एक outcome ratio calculate करें, outcome ratio means कि जो हमारे cases close हो चुके हैं, उनका outcome the Joint Secretary of Home Affairs, Punya Salila Srivasava, has said that the government is doing everything to ensure the smooth flow of essentials across state boundaries. 
any drivers facing issues during transport can now seek assistance by dialing in to the Home Affairs Control Room at 1930 or the helpline number at 1033. At the same time, she reiterated that malls, shopping complexes will continue to remain closed for the period of the lockdown and so will be all public transport services including air, rail and... In more positive news, this time from the opposition, Congress President Sonia Gandhi today said that the Congress committees in every state will bear the cost of railway tickets of needy migrant laborers who are returning home after being in the lockdown. She accused the center of being indifferent to the plight of migrant workers and said that charging them for their railway travel despite the hardships they faced during the lockdown was inhuman. Pointing out how the Congress has been raising this issue from the outset of the lockdown, she said that the central government and the rail ministry have chosen to completely ignore the need for providing safe and free rail travel for migrant workers. Maintaining that the workers and laborers form the backbone of our economy, she said that any migrant laborer who needs assistance can get in touch with their local Congress committee and be assured of help. प्यारे श्रमिक भाइयों और बहनों किसान देश का अन्नदाता है तो श्रमिक और कामगार देश का राष्ट्र निर्माता हर देशवासी को असीम दर्द हुआ जब हजारों श्रमिक भाइयों और बहनों को सैकड़ों किलोमीटर भूखे प्यासे मजबूरी में पैदल घर वापस जाते देखा मुझे मालूम है कि आज भी देश के अलग अलग कोनों में लाखों श्रमिक भाई और बहन मुश्किल में फंसे हैं we have again news about new viruses, but this time it's not about humans. The Assam government on Sunday informed that the first case of the African swine flu has been detected in the state. The disease is reported to have killed more than 2,500 pigs. The state government has maintained that they will not cull the population of pigs immediately, even after getting a nod from the center. According to Minister of Animal Husbandry Atul Bora, the state government is mulling on alternative measures to contain the spread of the disease. He added that the disease has no relation at all with COVID-19 and that it does not affect humans. आरु अमार जोखिस्तो हैं इनको जुबाग बा जुबती ये इंडस्ट्री टूल लोगों को होती है कोई जोड़ी टू हुई पुरी सिल बैंक और रीनू बहुत है लोग सिल तो ये क्या होकर और साठ तो अमार काने मूल साठ हो आरु ये काने अमी साइज़ यूज़े केंद्रीय सरकारे जी गाइडलाइन दिसे In more twists, a fresh FIR against Republic TV's editor-in-chief Arnab Goswami has been registered on Saturday for allegedly creating communal hatred. According to several media reports, the FIR was lodged based on a complaint of Irfan Abu Barkar Sheikh, the secretary of an educational society. In the FIR, Goswami was accused of hurting religious sentiments of a community and targeted a mosque from Bandra, which had no link with the commotion that took place on the 14th of April. The police have registered a case and further investigation is ongoing.
amidst a slump in crude oil market due to the global spread of coronavirus and related lockdowns in several countries petrol and diesel rates continue to be frozen for the 50th day today oil marketing companies have however cut the price of jet fuel by 23.2% bringing down the cost of aviation fuel to less than one third of the price of petrol used in cars and two wheelers petrol and diesel prices were frozen soon after the government raised excise duty on the two fuels by 3 rupees a liter each to mop up gains arising from falling international rates That's all from us for now. Please stay tuned, stay home and stay safe. We'll be back with you shortly.